Thanks for having me. A very, very loud cheer going on from Calgary over here. They are excited about this game, as am I. I think it's going to be a fantastic game. We've seen a lot of great derby today, a lot of great derby yesterday as well. Um, a little bit over three minutes, we will get started. Some of our skating officials getting a little bit of warm up in themselves. Hey, Dop, you won a prize. I think I won a prize. You did win a prize. Did I win a prize? You won a prize. Well, I know you've been hearing their names all weekend, but <clears throat> to help more me at week. Oh, wow, see, warm me up. <laughs> Let me introduce for this game, Happy Valley Derby, Darlin's Molly Morbids. We've got 000 Booty Queen, number 10 Herzerker, number 12 Cookie, 131 Kicking Assets, number 19 Tootsie, 2113 Pearl of Scars, or Pearl of the Scars. 223 Valkyrie Vixen. Number 261 Carpe Jugulum. Number 3460 Chiringua. Uh, number 700 Triple X. 717 Aerial Assault. Number 8 Sookie Slap House. 801 Orange Crusher. 831 Busy Hummingbird. 92 Cats and Jammer. And 999 Glowjob. Skaters starting to skaters starting to take the track now. Just about a minute left to go here. I'm going to read down the whole Calgary uh, charter here because I don't have a line-out version to know who's not here. So, from top to bottom, glitch, projectile, knockout Sunday, Chris my ass, ruthless red, twitch, razor, jigs, Ferris bruiser, skidlet, reign of terror, curb stomp, and Coleshaw, novel blonde, sleep. Taz, Smacky Kennedy, Knox, Kiki Tiki Bang Bang, that one's a mouthful, Tidbit Naughty, and Brass Monkey. Calgary Roller Derby. You know, as excited I was for the very first game of the tournament, the very last game can also be uh, quite exciting as well. Everyone's played a, a whole bunch. Yep, it absolutely can. I watched each other play as well. Have a little insight into what the other people uh, like to do. Yeah, exactly. We still got a pretty decent crowd in here. Uh, I know a lot of the, uh, the Minnesota folks had to boogie, get on an airplane tonight, um, and I think Arizona was hitting the road pretty early too. So, if you stuck around from either of those teams, happy to have you. Been a great weekend. All right, and for Happy Valley, we have Valkyrie Vixen 223 jamming. And 1116, Chris My Ass for Calgary, who is going to be out first, lead jammer for Calgary. We have penalty whistles already. First jam out, Valkyrie Vixen going to the box, cutting the track. That is unfortunate. Chris my ass now going to have 30 seconds to work alone against these Happy Valley blockers see if we can put some more points on the board. Fortunately for Happy Valley, they have been pretty darn good this weekend at disrupting those power jams. However, that was some really great offensive strategy from Calgary opening up that line. Yeah, absolutely. And Chris, my ass, just crashes through the back of that Happy Valley wall. Split them right open. Through now, four more points. Val out of the box now, joining the pack. 
see what she can do here. Val and Orange get caught up on the outside together. Val has to go back out of bounds to the infield as well, getting bounced around pretty good in there. Meanwhile, Chris Myass back out of the pack again. Third trip onto the fourth now. Calgary is just giving Valkyrie Vixen a hard time up at the front. No pack is called. They got to let her go. Val's out now on a scoring trip. Chris Myass going to call that off. Let's see how many more we got. Two extra on there. 14 point jam for Calgary. Jam one. That would be a jam I would like to see for my team. I have to say. However, there is a ton of game left. So the yes. best thing that uh, Happy Valley can do is just stay focused. Uh, the game is very, very young. We have number 261 Jugs jamming for Happy Valley. Cole shot 201 with the star for Calgary. With some fancy moves like she likes to do, Juggs is out for Lee Jammer, about to make first attempt on a points pass, and there she goes again with four points for Happy Valley. This Happy Valley pack is really giving Colshaw a hard time. Knocked to the outside there. The pivot for Calgary is going to come up, try to give a little bit of offense. That's 213 Sleep, who has been a major problem for opposing blockers all weekend long. Colshaw recycled now by Chiringua. Leading her up into Sookie and Pearl, taken out by Pearl now. Recycled back up into turn two. Looks Cookie like gonna set a bridge. Calgary's jammer. Uh Looking for some offensive help. However, Juggs is a very strong drummer for Happy Valley, and Calgary is saying we need to stick together yeah. to keep Juggs from getting any more points. But Juggs hops, jumps, skips, and back on her skates for a hard fought for more. I must say, it is quite enjoyable to watch this skater. Juggs getting a little bit of assist there from Suki, Knocked out of bounds in the straightaway, gonna call it off. It was a star pass there, Sleep uh, took the helmet cover, but uh, didn't quite make it to the pack. And Happy Valley with a 10 point jam saying, look at us, we can score some points too. Yeah. Let's make this fun, let's make this interesting. All right, we've got number 831 busy jamming for Happy Valley. And it would appear uh, projectile jamming for Calgary. Yep, it's 004. Got that, that odd start style, likes to start way back from the jammer line. I have to admit, I thought for a second there wasn't a jammer. I just needed to turn my head a little bit. Oh, almost through, but kicking assets, taking projectile to the inside, but Manages to squeeze through, projectile, lead jammer, Calgary. Busy is still stuck in the pack. Nice hop there by projectile. Just had to clear booty. Four more points on the board for Calgary. Yeah, Busy's struggling in this jam a little bit. Calgary blocker's really giving her a hard time. She's going to need a little bit of help from her friends here. She's going to get out of that pack. Again, this is sometimes where you see a little bit of that tournament fatigue set in. Maybe getting up a little bit slower, not getting quite to yep. where you need to be. Really, really nice skating there by Projectile. Up on toe stops, both skates, dancing around, trying to maintain balance and stay in bounds. Manages to do so, but definitely a little gassed coming over to the bench here.
All right, we have Cats and Jammer, 92, jamming for Happy Valley. We have Skidlet, jamming for Calgary. All right, it's number 92, Cat wearing the star for Happy Valley, fighting against Two from Calgary, out first, lead jammer for Happy Valley. Cat comes crashing into the back of that Calgary wall, sends blockers flying. Penalty now on the Calgary jammer, power jam for Cat. Looks like it was a forearm call. Yep. The Cat's in jammer is a strong jammer. Yes. Definitely one that you see come into that pack full force, causing some chaos. We've got a really good, uh, really good pack, some great offensive uh, blockers there. Cookie and Chiringua messing things up at the back there. And we have Calgary's Jammer out of the box. And so close, but no cigar on that final getting around Tringla. Tringla is one feisty skater. You definitely can't let your guard down. All right, and with that, we have a 12-point jam for the Molly Morbids, getting us to a four-point game which is the kind of derby I love. Ah, the infamous jammer. Chris, my ass off the line very fast. Jukes around, kicking assets. Lead jammer for Calgary, very quick lead there. Valkyrie Vixen as the jammer for Happy Valley. Struggling a bit there in the back of the pack, looking for some help, but not before getting a forearm penalty. It's been a rough day for jammer penalties. Um, I know you, you haven't been here for most of the day, but well, you were watching online a little bit earlier, Colonel, and it's definitely been a, a big thing. It's had a lot of impact on the outcome of games with the jammers going to the penalty box. And the ref crews are calling things pretty tight, um, which Again, and, and I may uh, just be making up some excuses, but from experience, again, I think some of that can come from just being a little tired. It takes yeah. a lot to play these games, and they have all been really intense. Yeah, I mean, i just been standing here flapping my gums all weekend, and I'm tired, so. All right, 8-0 jam there, favor of Calgary, 22-34. Now our score, got Busy wearing the star for Happy Valley and Ferris Bruiser for Calgary. Full packs, yes, nobody in the penalty box. Busy gonna follow some offense from Sookie right off the line there. Sookie drops back, leaves Busy to it. Busy knocked out to the inside, recycled. Looks like Happy Valley was trying to pull a cut, unfortunately. The yeah, that was, was able to re-enter due to those blockers yeah, was, going out of bounds. Yeah, Ruthless Red, the pivot, got uh, knocked out of bounds after knocking Busy out, so null for the cut. I'm gonna call that off. Four more points on the board for Calgary. All right, and before I lose, Projectile is the jammer for Calgary. Carpe Jugulin on the line for Happy Valley. Projectile moving quickly up there to that waiting Happy Valley pack. 
knocked out to the outside, getting recycled by Kicken and Lex, but Kicken goes down. We have Juggs as lead jammer. Booty and Triple X working really well together there to contain Calgary Jammer. Like kicking, gonna take a seat for 30 seconds. Coach Bradass says skate very loudly. And Jug's being very careful there not to cut the track before calling off the jam. As a reminder, you need all four whistles for that jam to be complete. Very, very smart move on Jug's part. And we have Kasson Jammer, number 92, for Happy Valley. And that's Curb Stomp and Coleshaw, number 201, wearing the star for Calgary. And you know, they're going to just wait there for a little bit because we do have an official timeout. Something, something going on with the penalty box. They've been a little bit busy this first half, so I can imagine they have a lot to, a lot to deal with. Once again, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Triple Eight and 187 Killer Pads. Triple Eight developed the Sweat Saver with the best skaters, engineers, and testing facilities to bring you the safest helmet option for roller derby. Try it for yourself. 187 Killer Pads, worn by the most pros in the world. If you skate, you know why. As well as Triple Eight. The certified sweat saver from AAA, top of the line safety standards and unmatched fit options. I have a somewhat large head. And so I get a AAA because I get a helmet that fits. All right, looks like we are ready to start again. And we do start with a jammer for Happy Valley in the penalty box. Not entirely sure what that penalty was for, but that does give Calgary a power jam. However, that was short-lived as Coleslaw did get a cut track penalty. And so we are gonna swap out jammers. Coleshaw not wasting any time getting to the penalty box from a from a coach's perspective, I love that to skater. Let's get there, let's get sat down, get this penalty over with. Jugs with a spinny hoppy thing on the outside there, trying to get around that last Calgary blocker. Finally does, lead jammer for Happy Valley. Colshaw out of the box now too. Colshaw also out of the pack on a scoring trip. Jugs looking to the bench for instructions, gonna call it off, put four on the board and keep it safe. And uh, I just wanna throw out a sorry to Colshaw. I called you Coleslaw. I mean, Coleslaw is delicious, but not her name. That is true. Please forgive me. I am also somewhat hungry. All right, and so we've got Cats and Jammer number 92 for Happy Valley on the Jammer line. And Skid, Skidlet, Jammer for Calgary. Skidlet taken out in the straightaway by Booty Queen there. Got Orange Crusher, Booty Queen, and kicking assets. That's a Big, strong wall. Cats and Jammer out, Lee Jammer now, and on a scoring trip, meeting some resistance from the Calgary blockers on the infield line. Oh no. Calgary's Jammer going to the box. Looks like a forearm penalty being called. That leaves Cats and Jammer 30 seconds to work alone. Power Jam for Happy Valley. Calgary is definitely going to have to sit and have a little chat about what they think is going on with these jammer penalties. They can definitely have a huge impact on the game. Yeah, absolutely. Cats and Jammer decides to play it safe, getting recycled back there into turn four. Um, called the jam, busy now out with the star four. Happy Valley will have probably 15, maybe 20 seconds worth of power jam time before 
Skidlet gets released from the penalty box. Chiringua and Suki doing a nice job of capturing one of the Calgary blockers back there, repositioning the pack, forcing the out of play in the front to release Busy. Lead jammer, kicking assets coming out of the penalty box now, gonna lend a hand. Happy Valley doing a really great job at uh, what I like to call water falling up to the front so that yeah. they can catch that jammer. Unfortunately, the pivot, Sookie number eight, gonna go to the penalty box. Didn't see the penalty call, but I'm sure she's innocent. Another penalty whistle from the OPR, doesn't matter. That is gonna be a high block call against the Calgary jammer skidlet back to the penalty box. Busy's going to call it off. Happy Valley going to start in a power jam once again. And not only is it just tough to have power jams against you, but you know those uh, those jammers will rack up those penalties, and if you get enough, you have to go sit yourself in the locker room, yeah. and then uh, your team is down one of your jammers, and that is never good. All right, got Jugs, number 261, jamming in this power jam for Happy Valley. Sucky being released from the penalty box. Out of play, call goes up at the front. Jugs released, lead jammer, Happy Valley. Calgary did do a great job, though, at the defense against that power jam. Jug's gonna try to duck low around the Calgary blockers, but they still got her. Knocked to the back, recycled back around into turn one, but second effort out now. And with what I would call some good strategy, if your jammer is having some penalty trouble, uh, let's pass that hat over to the pivot. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, there's almost nothing worse, you know, for a jammer that gets stuck kind of on a, on a penalty cycle like that. And sometimes you just have to Cut it off, do the star pass, save yourself. And try again, another jam. All right, we've got an official review by Happy Valley. All right, so we are now four points away from a tie score. A little turnaround in the game here. Happy Valley's been having some really smart plays, and like Colonel was saying, we are seeing a little bit of penalty trouble for the Calgary Jammers, but I have no doubt that their coaches and captains will be chatting with them about that, trying to come up with a plan to stop it. I definitely would. This weekend has had some amazing derby, and we want to thank the donors for this weekend that helped make this as fantastic as it is. So a shout out to Trader Joe's, Keto Chow, Ritual Chocolate, Mill Creek Common, Bailey's Bites Protein Balls, Cozy Spoonfuls Protein Balls, and Culinary Crafts. So, I'm gonna wait until we uh, hear from our officiating crew on what the review is regarding. Um, I do wanna take this opportunity though to, uh, those of you especially on the, on the live stream, if you would, Direct your attention to the lower left corner of your screen. You will see now a Venmo icon. Um, we have replaced our um, donations QR code with one for one of our skating officials um, was badly injured yesterday um, and will have some costs associated with his recovery. Uh, so if you would like to help that ref out, click on that Venmo link, send him a few bucks and maybe a message of encouragement. I'm sure you'd appreciate it. That is why I love the Derby community. We are all always looking out for each other. So get out your fancy phone, scan that code.
Looks like the uh, referees have got their decision. Head ref Saren is over there talking to the uh, captains and coaches. I'll get the lowdown from Spike here in just a second. Alrighty, so uh, review, looking for an illegal procedure penalty uh, on the Calgary Jammer there for passing the star while down, which you can't do. Uh, no star pass occurred, therefore, among other reasons, there will be no penalty. Happy Valley will not retain their review. And as this jam has started, we have Valkyrie Vixen jamming for Happy Valley and Ferris Bruiser jamming for Calgary, all kind of stuck in a glob of uh, skaters on turn one. But out of that mess, Valkyrie Vixen as your lead jammer. Definitely got some Happy Valley fans in the house over there in turn two, it's getting a little bit loud. Nice to hear from you. Calgary Jammer broke through, but Valkyrie Vixen was able to get through right behind. But we are back to even Steven. New game, 40-40. This weekend is blowing my mind with the ties. I know. I mean, in the first half of the last game, we had probably four or five, maybe six lead changes in pretty rapid succession. It was great. Again, good derby. Yeah, absolutely. All right, number 92, Cats and Jammer jamming for Happy Valley. Cat, just nice, slow, even steps around the outside there. Lead Jammer for Happy Valley. But projectile, hop, skip, and a jump out of the pack. Cats and Jammer having to call that off rather quickly as projectile is very fast and not allowing for much time to get any more points. Yeah. And unfortunately, oh. So we're gonna, we're gonna stay at zeros there, keep it at 40 for another two jam. Points. Oh no, wait, we got two, all right. Two points for Cats and Jammer, so great job, good strategy. 42, it's a great number. We got 261 Jugs jamming for Happy Valley. Calgary is Chris my ass. Jugs quickly out first, lead jammer. Chris my ass knocked to the outside. Cookie trying to recycle but gets knocked out of bounds herself. Jugs now tangled up in the middle of the pack of both Calgary and Happy Valley skaters. We've had actually quite a lot of that this weekend with these like big sort of scrum packs where both teams and both jammers are right there. Jugs knocked down to the outside, gonna call off that jam. Four more points on the board for Happy Valley. Oh no, sorry, three more points. Score now 45 to 40, just under 10 minutes left in the first half. Scrum does sound a lot more intense and uh, sporty than glob. So well, I think I'm gonna yeah, take Yeah, I mean, that. It's, a, it's a rugby term, so. Sports, I don't Sports. know. Sports. I don't know. All right, we got 831 busy jamming for Happy Valley. Cole Shaw. Yes, not coleslaw. I, Wild I'm, delicious. I'm, Still not her name. I know, I know. Number 201 jamming for Calgary after this official timeout. It's like, uh, oops, there we go. Got the whistle from Wamdolf. Five seconds is called. We're back to roller derby. All right. Colshaw going to meet Booty Orange and Kicking right there at the back. Stop dead about 15 feet up from the jammer line. Rolling forward just a little bit. Got Busy Hummingbird pushing against Calgary up in the front. I believe, yeah, that's sleep number 213, the pivot. Going to go to the pe penalty box for a forearm, releasing Busy Lead Jammer, Happy Valley. 
And sleep, number two and three, going to the box. That last line of defense got a forearm call. Busy cutting through that pack. Quickly on the second scoring pass for Busy. Busy just manages to save it up on the front trucks there. Staying in bounds. One more pass through onto the third scoring pass. Sleep coming out of the penalty box now. See if they can give Colshaw a hand. Just out now, actually, past Triple X. Brad Ass over here on the bench giving his one and only instruction skate. Yeah, we have some fantastic coaches here this weekend. Really do. The coaches have been absolutely fantastic this weekend. Um, a lot of them that I've known before as a, you know, I've ref their teams. And some new ones. All right, we have Ferris Bruiser wearing the star for Calgary, Valkyrie Vixen for Happy Valley. Val, zigzag and twist. Out first, lead jammer, Happy Valley. Ferris Bruiser was stuck between Sookie and Pearl there for a minute. That is not a comfortable place to be. Pearl gonna take a seat in the penalty box for 30. Even though that was a pretty physical scrum. Ferris Bruiser definitely broke out of that pack quick. Again, a testament to the endurance of these skaters. Yeah, very fast, very fast jammer. Speaking of fast jammers, both jugs and projectile out here, very fast skaters. I'm just really enjoying this start by projectile. It is likely concerning to the officials a little bit. Um, I would assume so. Jugs is going to tiptoe up the straightaway on the outside. Lee Jammer once again for Happy Valley. Projectile sent flying there. I think that was Orange Crusher or that knocked her out. Orange going to go to the penalty box for a trouble as well. Jugs getting briefly recycled. And then getting tangled up with uh, Pearl of Scars, her teammate there. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of a pileup, and it can be hard to call off the jam when you are trying to yourself not fall on your face. Yeah, exactly. As much as we love this sport, it's nice to keep uh, your nose from uh, crashing to the ground. Yeah, nobody likes a broken nose. We got Cats and Jammer. Cats and Jammer as the jammer for Happy Valley. Chris my ass as the jammer for Calgary. However, we are in an official timeout at the moment. And why not do a little dance? Yep, I've been talking about that all weekend long. 100% lack of dance parties on the track. All right, five seconds called, off we go. Chris, my ass, going to go to the penalty box. I believe that was for a high block. Um, she was already on the way to the penalty box before the official even said the penalty. When you know, you know. Yeah, it's a thing. Leaving Couch and Jammer out on her own for 30 seconds. A little power jam for the Morbids. We add a few more points to this. Creeping up on a 20 point lead here. One After more. this pass, it will be 21. The Morbids there were uh, doing some great passive offense, allowing the Calgary Jammer, or the Happy Valley Jammer, to push the Calgary Blockers out of play. Chris, my ass, now back out of the penalty box through the pack on an initial trip, but Katz and Jammer is going to shut it down. Four more points for Happy Valley, zero for Calgary. 
just over four minutes left in the first period. All right, we got Valkyrie Vixen jamming for Happy Valley. Cole Shaw jamming for Calgary. Again with those jammer penalties. Unfortunately, Colshaw sent to the box for a forearm. Val looking for a little bit of offense from kicking here. Also getting some from Triple X. Now Booty and Orange are gonna come up, join the party, see if they can't free Val up. And they do. Little push from Kicking assets, but we got that's Orange going to take a seat at the penalty box. Colshaw now back from the box. Knocked immediately out of bounds. Both jammers being drawn back. We're going all the way back around. About half the track here, we're going to take them back. Listen, let's just uh, rewind time and take you as far yep. back as we can. Just reset the whole thing. Colshaw back on the track first. Manages to... Manages to get through the Happy Valley pack. Kicking assets going to the penalty box for a cut. And whereas oh, uh, we're Calgary was do... having some issues with jammer penalties, it looks like uh, we've done the flip rooney And Happy Valley's Valkyrie Vixen going to the box. Yep. Cole Shaw sneaking around on that outside line. Picking up four more points for Calgary. No lead jammer, so we've got just under 20 seconds left on the jam clock for Cole Shaw to work here, try to pick up a few more points. Dealing with some heavy blocking there from Booty Queen and Triple X and Orange. Kicking Assets gonna join them on the track here and momentarily coming back from the penalty box. But the jam is gonna expire on time. Four points more for Calgary, 12 point jam. 69-56, just under two minutes left in the half. And we have full lines of jammers and blockers out there on the track, what I love to see. Let's keep it that way. Jugs jamming for Happy Valley, Ferris Bruiser jamming for Calgary. Ferris Bruiser working against Pearl Cookie and Chiringua there, backed up by Sookie, the pivot, going side to side, trying to find a hole in that wall, but cannot. They try to sneak around the outside, no, Sookie takes her out to the outside, recycled back behind the pack. Jugs out, lead jammer, Morbids. Calgary now able to do a little bit of offense, go back there and try to get Ferris out, but still not able to. Jugs around on a scoring trip. Star pass now to number 12, Ruthless Red. Almost made it some real, like, it was speeding a very around smooth, that track. Uh, very smooth star pass, I must it say, It was. Though. The last game, the star passes from Arizona were, like, mystical. I, we, I didn't see half of like them happen. Butter. They were just like, whoop, wait a minute. Magic. Star pass magic. All right. The uh, about 12 seconds on the period clock. That clock will expire. Lee Jammer Calgary projectile now. That was an amazing one footed spin move on the outside line. Busy out as well, about half a track back. Projectile on the ground to the outside, calls it off. And that will take us to the end of the first period. 15 minute intermission. Uh, we're gonna do uh, a raffle thing. Um, and then also hoping that uh, you will uh, join me in wishing Happy Valley's Kicking Assets a very happy birthday tomorrow.
Feel free to join in, folks, if you like. Kicking loves it. All right. We'll wait for uh, Deathly Harlow to come on back up here so we can do our uh, raffle drawing. Here she comes now. to a different container. That's how many tickets there were. This is for our 187 Triple Eight Derby package. Pads, helmets, duffel bag, all the things you need if you're a Derby player. So here we go. Colin can attest I am not cheating, even though I've got my name in here. <laughs> all right, this one feels lucky. Oh no, can't do that one. We had to pull her out for that one. Oh. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, Joshua Moore! Yes! Joshua Moore is the winner of our Derby package! That is, um, yeah, that's two. That's who? What size feet are you? Um, nine. Nine? Yeah. What do you, what do you need? We need space for life, I'm like, I'm a size seven in my shoes. The winner of that, uh, of that prize there is the spouse of uh, one of our skating officials, Sushi. Um, I'm sure that Sushi will appreciate some new non-stinky pads. Okay, and if you didn't win, never fear. We have two amazing boundary backpacks that were donated. And we're gonna took, I took all the tickets from who didn't win, and we're going to draw from those. Here we go. No way. Say it. Say it. The winner is Deathly Harlow. Wait. <laughs> that does. <laughs> Colin checked. All right, there's two backpacks, one more. Okay, this is a number. Four, four, one, one, zero, nine. Right there, Allie, congratulations. You won our other boundary backpack. Thank you so much to everyone who entered into our prize drawing. All this money goes back to our league. All this money goes back to our league. And if any of you know of any places in Utah County that would be willing to rent to Happy Valley, please come talk to one of us. We're looking for a new permanent home.
All right, we are under two minutes until the second half of this last game of the 2024 Jell-O Bowl. If you haven't already gotten your amazing Jell-O Bowl swag, go over to that table. I'm sure they would love to sell you some. Collect our items over there. You never know, one day they may wor be worth all the money, but at least all the memories. All right, and we have Molly Morbids at 73, Calgary Roller Derby sitting at 59. Still a very close game. Um, I will not be surprised to see the score flip-flop a couple of times in the second half here. I agree, and like I said before, yesterday, I guess, that shows you good roller derby when it goes back and forth. That shows some evenly matched teams. And really it comes down to strategy and possibly a little bit of uh, endurance to see who's going to come out of this game victorious. Did have a broken skate by one of the blockers for Happy Valley. Everybody scattering around trying to find a replacement for her. I'm sure we will. The community went in, went into help mode. Again, like we why do. roller derby is awesome. All right, five seconds call by Wamdolf. Jammers on the track. Jugs two six one four Happy Valley and Chris my ass one 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 six. For Calgary, Jugs out first. Lee Jammer, Happy Valley. Calgary's Jammer getting a hard hit by number eight Suki there at the front of the pack, but with all the Jammer strength, said, "Nope, I'm going to keep going." However, that jam uh, has ended, and so we're just going to move on to the next one. Jugs, yeah, very smartly they're calling off the jam to stop Calgary from being able to pick up any points. Reset with fresh jammers in the form of a Ferris Bruiser for Calgary and Valkyrie Vixen for the Morbids. Ferris Bruiser trying to Break through the back of this wall here. Booty, orange, and kicking. Got Sookie there holding the pack together. Calling instructions. Calgary stretching things out to the front. Trying to stop Val from getting out. But Val spinning, turning, pushing. No. Forearm penalty for Valkyrie Vixen. Onto the penalty box she goes. Lead is open for Ferris, Bu uh, Ferris Bruiser. Number eight, uh, knocking Ferris Bruiser down on that inside, taking all the way to the back of the pack, giving Ferris a, a very hard time on this power jam. I love the communication between the Calgary blockers and jammers. When the jammer's being recycled, it's calling out to uh, number 82, Kiki, there to tell them which blocker put them out and hey, stop that person. And that did happen and Ferris was able to come back in legally, not get the cut. That's some really heads up play and great communication between these skaters. Kicking Assets has been very successful at bringing that jammer back. I believe I jinxed. Star pass to the pivot, Suki for Happy Valley. Gonna get the call off instruction from the bench. What I love about this game is there's definitely some good derby strategy going into this. If you don't get lead, taking off that star for that star pass to give to your pivot, get out of the pack so that other jammer has to call it off lessen the amount of points that the other jammer scores.
Looks like we've got an official timeout on the track now, which is going to be just the right opportunity for uh, Coach Slam Vimes to be able to bring another pair of skates over here to the bench for Triple X to try out. We have number 004 projectile jamming for Calgary. 831 busy jamming for Happy Valley. Projectile meets up with Sookie, number eight there on the inside line, taken to the inside, but manages to escape. Getting past Teringua up there at the front, lead jammer for Calgary. A juke and a hop, avoids the block from Sookie. Four more on the board for Calgary. Projectile may be made of half rubber. Potentially. Happy Valley Pack finally got a hold of projectile though. Getting a little bit of help from Razor there, some offense to free up projectile, worked out really nicely. Busy stuck in the back looking for that pass to Sookie, the pivot for Happy Valley. Recycle. Calgary saying, uh, no way. Busy's gonna be recycled all the way back behind the jammer line over here in turn four. Still looking for the star pass from Sookie. Successful, Sookie now one to beat. Spin move, nope. Forced to the inside. Sookie hit again by Sleep as she re-enters from the infield. And this is an absolutely massive jam for Calgary, just what yeah. they needed as they now take the lead with yep. 81 points to Happy Valley 77. Sookie now finally free of the pack. to come around and see if we can shut this down, but projectile knocked to the outside, but not before picking up, I think, at least three points. Yep, Jamref says three. For a total of 23, 23 points that jam, that is yeah. one of the uh, most successful jams I have seen in the games this weekend. Yeah, we had a we had a 24 point jam earlier in the day uh, during the um, the Happy Valley Uinta sort of mashup game, but this is the highest scoring jam in a sanctioned game this weekend. And I'm sure Calgary is very happy with that. And that is why we love roller derby, because you can never count yourself down and out. You get a massive jam like, like that one, and you are right back in the game. Not only in it, but ahead. Yeah. But seven points, though, separate the teams. I mean, that's, that's one jam. That's half yeah, of with, one jam. With 25 minutes left in this out you there are more than enough opportunities for a lead change to all right again. time out over we've got 201 Colshaw wearing the star for Calgary 261 jugs with the star for Happy Valley Both these teams with some pretty similar strategy right off the line. It looks like they're starting with a defensive wall of three, sending one of their blockers to help his offense. Jugs exactly with a little. what Jugs needed. Yep, a little fancy footwork. Had to get around uh, Orange and kicking there on the inside line. So a little hop and a jump and a spin. Lead Jammer now in on a scoring trip. Easily through on the inside line in the straightaway. Four more points for Molly Morbid's 81-84 now the score. Jugs, dips, and jukes, four more up. That's our lead change, one point, 85-84. There was a star pass to number 12, Ruthless Red. Again, strategy to stop the amount of points of Happy Valley can get by putting pressure on the other jammer as they are coming in for a scoring pass. And Juggs calls it off very smartly. Yep. Ruthless Red was coming in pretty fast towards the back of the pack there when, the, when it was called off, came to a screeching halt right there. 
in the entrance to turn three. There was a little bit of laughter <laughs> from the other teams. Nice to see the uh, you know opponents having a good time out here on the track. We got 92 Cats and Jammer jamming for Happy Valley. Lead Jammer Calgary now. That's Chris my ass. 1116 in on first scoring trip. Takes out Cookie. Out and around for four. Back in one more time. Trinning, we're going to try to slow her down right now. Caught by Cookie momentarily at the front, but Chris my ass manages to. Chris my ass going around those Happy Valley skaters like they're cones. Yeah, right? Oh, but Cookie finally makes contact, sends her flying to the outside. Gonna reset back here behind the jammer line in turn four. Cats and Jammer now being recycled by Tidbit Naughty here in turn four. Taz now again kicking ass. That's gonna try to stop that from happening, but sleep bridged back. Whoa. Chris my ass goes down. Here in turn four, Pearl fell over the top. Chiningwa the pivot now with the star. Ooh, and at the very end of that jam, unfortunately, Chris Maz getting a low block penalty, sending them to the box, giving Happy Valley a power jam to start on this next jam. But uh, Calgary has asked for an official review so the Calgary coach obviously has some questions for Saren Gasp and her crew. We'll get the word from Spike here shortly on what that might be. When you have a game that's this close, again, jammer penalties can really hurt your chances of success. And so it makes sense that they are going to have the officials take a closer look at that last call. Yeah, that may be what they're doing is maybe trying to get that penalty overturned. Um, that would be a great thing if Calgary can do that. Thanks once again to all the folks that donated uh, the prizes for this weekend. Trader Joe's Keto Chow, Ritual Chocolate, Mill Creek Common, Bailey's Bites Protein Balls, Cozy Spoonfuls Protein Balls, and Culinary Crafts. Thanks very much to all of them. As always, thank you to our volunteers that help make this thing happen. Ticket takers, security, medics, the officials, announcers. hey -o. Calgary Jammer is going to take a few laps on the outside to stay warm. Projectile having a little bit of fun with it. And hey, if you haven't had enough roller derby from this weekend, Happy Valley has a bout coming up on May 18th. It is their home team season opener. Game starts at 6.45 p.m. It will be an action-packed night of derby. All right, so Saren's giving, uh, giving the news here. I have been given the news as well. I'll wait till Saren's done talking to the coaches. All right, there we go. So, Calgary was asking for a multiplayer block against the um, Happy Valley Jammer. The no call will stand. They will not retain their review. And like magic, I am actually wrong again on what they're talking about <laughs> in the middle. So I may just start keeping my ideas to myself. Well, you never know. You might be right one of these times. One would hope. Jugs 261, the jammer for Happy Valley on this power jam. Happy Valley again practicing some passive 
offense, allowing Juggs to bridge out those Calgary Jammers, which she does, getting lead Jammer for Happy Valley. Chris Myass, the Jammer for uh, Calgary in the penalty box still, but likely to return soon. Juggs forced outside on, over there in the 2-3 the straightaway, but immediately right back on the track. Some really nice blocking by the Calgary up there in the front. And there, Chris Myass out of the pack now on a scoring trip. Let's see if Juggs is gonna let that continue. Nope. Call off signal comes. Ninety-three, ninety-five. Two points separate the teams. Twenty-one minutes still to go. Forever in roller derby. I hate to sound cliche, but this is definitely a nail biter of a game. Number eight three one busy jamming for Happy Valley. Number one six seven Ferris Bruiser jamming for Calgary. Busy. Gonna muscle her way through the Calgary blockers. Lead jammer, Morbids. Ferris Bruiser going side to side as much as she can, trying to avoid all of those Happy Valley blockers. Finally out now on a scoring trip. Busy through for four, gonna call it off. And there it is again, another lead change, folks. Number 92, Cats and Jammer, jamming for Happy Valley. Projectile, jamming for Calgary. I'm trying to see what Projectile socks say. I'll have to check next time on the Jammer line. Oh, Ooh. Projectile trying to do some fancy jumping on the inside line, being shut down by number eight, Suki. Being pulled all the way back to have to deal with that tough wall of Happy Valley blockers. Suki switching to offense there, breaking up that Calgary pack, freeing up Cats and Jammer, lead Jammer for us, Happy Valley. But Projectile out half a track behind and accelerating quickly. No, lost lead, Jammer going to the penalty box, so it's gonna be a power jam for Projectile and Calgary Roller Derby. And just when you thought it was safe to look, lead change again, 99 to 97, Calgary now in the lead. Cats and Jammer released from the penalty box, gonna rejoin the fray, but unfortunate for Projectile, cutting the track called. Looks Where like Projectile go? got a cut penalty. I didn't quite see it from my vantage point. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a signal I got from the refs, but Cats and Jammer now has 30 seconds to uh, work in a power jam herself. Another lead change, that's two in the jam. 105-99 score. Pack moving pretty quick up here. Happy Valley gonna try to slow it down, grabbing a Calgary blocker to reset the pack to the back, but I think they were actually split because Pearl was up with the other Calgary blockers at that point. I really hope that at halftime you refilled your drinks, got a snack, and went to the bathroom because if you leave for a second, you are gonna miss something epic the amount of lead changes that we are seeing. That is absolutely correct, Colonel. 107, 102, score now. 17 minutes left on the clock. An absolutely fantastic game. Happy Valley throwing in Jugs 261 to jam in this power jam. Projectile coming out of the penalty box. Lead still open. Jugs is trying desperately to change that.
and she does manages to stay in bounds. A little bit of a sprawl there at the end for Juggs, but Lee Jammer nonetheless. Projectile out of the pack now also racing around about half a track behind trying to catch up to Juggs. Juggs getting a little help from Orange there. Gonna play it safe. Thinks she might have cut the track. In a game like this, I definitely think safe is the way that you want to go. 100%. I mean, I always like safe derby, but... Uh... Yeah, but I mean, you know, strategically safe. Thank you. Correct. We got 2-2-3 two, two, Valkyrie Vixen jamming for Happy Valley. Ferris Bruiser jamming for Calgary. Happy Valley taking a team timeout. Going to get uh, together and talk about what's going on. Calgary Jammer is going to skate some laps on the outside here, try to stay warm. I think that's a very smart thing to do. So Happy Valley using the second of their three regular timeouts here. Um, still have a review and one regular timeout. It's, uh, it's a delicate balance for a coach, to, like with clock management, looking at this, especially with a game as close as this. You really do want to be able to um, use those timeouts strategically um, if and when you need to. Got a, little, got a wave going on here in the venue. Pretty good one. To those of you watching on the live stream, as a reminder, there is a Venmo QR code in the bottom corner of your screen. If you feel like helping out another Derby human, the official who was injured yesterday would love your support. Use that fancy phone and uh, donate some money today. Jammer for Calgary, Ferris Bruiser. Valkyrie Vixen on the track for Happy Valley. Out first, Lee Jammer. Val able to slide through around the outside of turn one. Four more points. Ferris getting recycled back to the jammer line. Pearl, Cookie, and Kicking all back there. Triple X out on the track with the pivot stripe now. Got a pair of roller skates to wear that weren't broken. That's a good thing. Good to see Lex back out on the track with her teammates now. Ferris looking a, a little frustrated there at the back of the pack, understandable. This is some very intense roller derby. Or maybe just psyching out those blockers because Ferris was able to sneak right through that pack. Ferris headed back to the penalty box, not uh, happy about something. It's gotta be weird having to like, you know, Lex got broken skates and is now skating in somebody else's gear. I, uh, I've never had to do it as a ref, but I can imagine that's got to be real weird feeling to be in somebody else's skates without having time to get used to them. You know, your skates do kind of become a part of yourself, and so it is quite foreign to skate in someone else's skates, especially at this level. Yeah, I mean, mine, mine are like molded to my foot. It's So, we have Chris My Ass, the jammer, lead jammer for Calgary. Chiringua being thrown in by Happy Valley as jammer. Chris My Ass, Chris My Ass being taken out by uh, Pearl there. Kicking going to take the draw back, but also Chiringua being drawn back to Meeting up with that Calgary wall led by the pivot sleep. Teammates gonna come see if they can help Chiringua out, get out of that pack. Chris my ass, one on one with kicking assets. Penalty call on Taz at the back here was trying to draw 
Chittingwa back now headed to the penalty box for a forearm. Sleep instructing the rest of the Calgary pack to bring the jammer all the way to the back. We're down here almost to turn three now. That's Sleep and Tidbit Naughty from Calgary. Star pass off to Sookie who is out. Hopefully gonna force a call off here. Chris Myas though only threw for one successful pass so far. Definitely has points on this pass but haven't been reported which means Happy Valley's blockers have managed to contain Chris Myas for all of this time. But Sookie threw for a quick scoring pass. Four points on the board for the Morbids. Let's see how many more Chris Myas had. Looks like three, so 127, 109, Molly Morbids in the lead currently. We've got 831 jamming for Happy Valley, Cole Shaw jamming for Calgary. However, we will first take an official timeout. It's a good time for those on the track to uh, have a little chat together, refocus themselves to get ready for this next jam. Skidlet over on the Calgary bench doing burpees. Um, that doesn't look like fun. Nobody likes burpees. I hate them. Sorry, yeah. burpee. Yeah, I, I hate them too. I do them, but I still don't like them. I just don't do them. About 12 minutes left in this second half of the last game of the 2024 Jello Bowl. I don't know about you, but I'm a little sad. I love roller derby. I love watching it all the time. Luckily, these games are all on YouTube. If you search for Happy Valley's YouTube channel, you will be able to watch any of these fabulous games that we've had this weekend. Jam is on. Cole Shaw, number 201, the jammer for Calgary. Busy Hummingbird, 831 for Happy Valley. Calgary blocker heading over to the penalty box. Two to beat left for Busy. Fortunately, they are two very skilled blockers, giving Busy a hard time. Lex trying to keep things legal, hold the pack together here. Orange Crusher going to take a trip to the box. And Busy's out first, lead jammer, but curb stomp and Colshaw out of the pack. Gaining on Busy very quickly. Unfortunately, it looks like that call, call may have been a little too late, giving Colshaw the opportunity to score four points. Yep. To was, Busy's one. That was some great skating by curb stomp and Colshaw there. Again, the jam isn't done until that last of the four whistles is blown. You got to keep skating until the end. Cats and Jammer jamming for Happy Valley. Projectile jamming for Calgary. Very small pack for Happy Valley. That's going to allow Projectile to get through fairly easily. Cookie went down in turn one. Projectile out lead jammer for Calgary. Orange joining the pack now from the penalty box, but Projectile Quick hop past Suki in turn two. Four more points on the board for Calgary. Projectile is definitely a jammer that you want to be at full strength with all four blockers to defend against. Projectile through again. Four more on the board for Calgary. 128, 121 are scored. Just over 10 minutes left in the game. Cats and Jam are having a real hard time with these Calgary blockers up in turn one. Been recycled several times. Speaking of being recycled, no, that's penalty for projectile. That is unfortunate. Power Jam now for Cat, but still hasn't been able to get out of the pack. Is out now and on a scoring trip. Has about 20 seconds or so to work while projectile serves the rest of her penalty. 
Looks like Happy Valley trying to trap one of the Calgary blockers in the back of the pack to remain with the pack in the back. Cats Causing chaos to get uh, Cats and Jammer through the pack. Yep. Cat putting four more on the board for the Morbids. Projectile now out of the penalty box, skating very fast. Little jump, crashes into one of her own blockers. Four more points, Projectile. Whistles on the outside here, sending Orange Crusher back to the penalty box for a bit. Projectile smashes into Cookie Sookie and kicking. Smash would be a good uh, way to describe that as I could almost feel it here from the announcer announcer's stand. Yep. That, Projectile kind of got uh, kind of got uh, sent flying there towards the uh, Happy Valley bench right at the end of the jam. Really nice jam though for both teams. 14-8 uh, Calgary 14 Morbids 8 in that jam. Score now 136-127 very close game, eight minutes, 32 seconds, and it's Chris My Ass, number 1116 for Calgary, out first, lead jammer, but Valkyrie Vixen, number 223 for the Morbids, is out also half a track behind. Chris with some very, very good moves there on the outside line. You definitely don't want to leave that open when they are coming into the pack. As demonstrated again as Chris goes through and gets four more points. Eight points on the jam, needs one more to tie. We'll probably get more than that in this next run. Oh, Sookie taking a big hit from Chris My Ass. Jam's called 12 4 jam. Favorite of Calgary, but still one point behind 140 to 139. Morbid's in the lead by one point. Seven minutes, 28 seconds remain. We have 261 Jugs jamming for Happy Valley. Cole Shaw jamming for Calgary after a short timeout. Yeah, Calgary going to call a timeout now. That will leave them with a single regulation timeout. They do not have an official review. Happy Valley sitting on one regulation timeout and a review. Those things may become important as the clock begins to dwindle towards the end of the game here. You know what else is important? Having a sweet set of 187 killer pads. 187 killer pads worn by the most pros in the world. If you skate, you know why. Yeah, and that's a prize pack won by um, Joshua Moore. He is the spouse of our one of our referees, Sushi. Really nice prize pack there. All right. Team timeout is over. Wamdolf says it's time to go back to playing derby. Colshaw, 201, wearing the star for Calgary. 261, Jugs for Happy Valley. Colshaw, nice move to get around Sookie on the outside there. Out first is Calgary with Lee Jammer. Jugs still working against the Calgary pack up there in turn one. Calgary was doing some great blocking there. Having capped the Happy Valley blockers there at the start, they were providing offense well, also providing defense at the same time. That's what makes roller derby weird. We do it all. Something uh, you don't see very often is uh, number 213 Sleep getting absolutely just flung to the infield. Um, but when it's Booty Queen doing the flinging, it makes sense. Juggs manages to get clear of the Calgary blockers. Four more points for Happy Valley. Happy Valley moving forward to provide some assistance with some offense for Juggs. 
However, as the jammer has left the penalty box, they have formed back up to do some defense. So really, really nice blocking by Taz from uh, Calgary here. Just absolutely stuck to jugs like glue for several seconds down here in turn four. Jugs not having an easy time getting out of this out of this bottom corner here. Sookie taking a spill. We'll back up now to Jugs out of the pack. Four more on the board for the Morbids. 152, 139 our score. Curb stop and Cole shot out of the box, out of the pack, was on a scoring trip, but unable to reach the pack in time. 12 point jam is going to help out the Morbids quite a bit. Calgary's coach out chatting with the jammer referee right now, question about the points, but he does not have a review to use. So we will hope that the uh, referees can sort this out on their own. Exactly five minutes left in the game. Clock stopped for an official timeout. And not that time management isn't important for the entire game, but when you have a score as close as this, with five minutes left, you have to really think about how you can utilize that five minutes to the best of your ability. All right, getting uh, are getting the score correction here. The um, jammer referee and the scorekeeper uh, conversing, making sure that they had had it correct. Were two scoring passes by Curb Stomp and Colshaw. Um, so seven points on the board now for Calgary. 155, 146, nine points between these teams. Chris Mayas jamming for Calgary against Busy, jamming for Happy Valley. Whistles on the outside from Doesn't Matter. That's going to send number 21, Novel, to the penalty box for Calgary. Busy getting knocked down to the infield, going to get recycled back. However, Calgary did quickly get two blockers into the box. Again, not what you want to see with this little amount of time on the clock that is lee jammer for happy valley busy hummingbird chris my ass in the penalty box now jammer for calgary novel standing also have Knox from calgary standing in the penalty box be rejoining the pack here shortly busy's going to call that off we're going to put a fresh jammer out there with uh chris my ass stuck in the penalty box for probably 15 more seconds or so uh, Clock just ticking under four minutes now, 159, 146. Cats and Jammer jamming for Happy Valley on this power jam. Happy Valley at full strength with four skaters on the track, Calgary with three. Excuse me, uh, blockers. Cats and Jammer barreling her way through. The Calgary Pack there, Lee Jammer for Happy Valley. Chris My Ass now out of the penalty box for Calgary. Wasat or Happy Valley Pack waiting for uh, waiting for Chris My Ass. I'm looking at Chiringa out there and used to saying their name associated with Wasatch Juniors. This is not that. This is Happy Valley Derby. Oh, big pile up down there. Big hit from Pearl of Scars and Chiningwa. Chris passing that helmet cover to Sleep. Katz and Jammer are going to take a sit down in the penalty box for 30. Sleep has just under a minute to do some work here, get some points for Calgary. Easily through on the inside line now. Four points, 150, 159. Two minutes, 22 seconds left on the game clock. Sleep bellowing out instructions to her blockers. Meets up with Sookie, number eight there. 
the top of turn one, knocked to the infield and recycled, meets up with Chiringua at the back. Little offense to get sleep freed up, but stuck behind Cookie, Chiringua, Sookie, and Pearl. Cats and Jammer back to the penalty box. Six seconds, five seconds left on the jam clock. 142. There's going to be about 130. Unless somebody calls a timeout here. 154, 162. Our score. Morbid still in the lead. 125 left on the clock. This is where those timeouts come in handy. If this microphone was made out of glass, it would have been crushed by now. It would That's have. how intense this roller derby is. Happy Valley gonna uh, use their last regulation timeout, stop the clock. Calgary still with one timeout, team timeout. I would say saving that just in case they are able to squeak one more jam out of this game. Well, that's where you know it's going to come down to, you know, quick lead jammer, quick points, quick call offs, um, burn the clock down. Or if you know either team can can take control, contain the other jammer, and just keep running it, run down the time. At the moment, the clock is not Calgary's friend, but it's only eight points that separate and these two earlier, teams. Earlier, projectile put a 23-point jam on the board. Yes. And so, if there's anyone that Calgary would want to put out, I would assume it would be that jammer. Projectile out of the pack, lead jammer, Calgary. Under a minute now on the period clock. We will go to the jam clock if projectile takes it that far. Cats and jammer out of the penalty box now on her initial trip. Cats and jammer with the star off, passing to Jug successfully. Yep. I could have told you that was going to happen. The only time I ever see Jugs wearing a pivot stripe is when something like that needs to happen. Absolutely, and Happy Valley is doing a great job containing projectile as long as they can. Calgary going to use their last time out, stop the clock, because for those of you that don't know, if there's less than 30 seconds on the period clock when the last when the jam is called, there will not be another one unless there is a stoppage like a timeout. Again, why timeouts are important, clock management is important. Smart coaching here from both sides. Absolutely. As we are getting to the end of this weekend of roller derby, as another reminder, make sure that you pick up some of the 2024 Jello Bowl mulch. <laughs> Thank you, uh, thank you, Bella and Barracuda for uh, the compliments. I have really enjoyed announcing this weekend. I have certainly enjoyed working with Colonel Skirts. Um, she and I go back a long way, so it uh, was easy to work with. It's been a pleasure, sir. All weekend. Shout out to Valkyrie Vixen as well for helping me with a couple of games today while Colonel was out. Speaking of Valkyrie Vixen, she is wearing the Jammer Star for Happy Valley. Chris my ass wearing the star for Calgary. Out, lead Jammer, Calgary. 164, 158 the score. Period clock about to expire. Period clock has expired. Val is out of the pack. Valkyrie Vixen doing exactly what her team wants. Doing what she does best. Four points on the board for Calgary, 164-162. Val takes a hard hit down here in the 3-4 apex. Has some points in the pocket. Chris my ass through. 
duking it out with Chiringua up in the front there. That is a lead change, folks. Minute 15 left in this jam, 164, 166. Val looking for the pass from Suki. Suki says, no, you keep it. Chris, my ass, lead jammer, gonna call it, but wait, stay in your seats, folks. Happy Valley's coach has indicated that he would like an official review. That means the period is not over until that review is concluded. Currently on the scoreboard, 168 points for the Molly Morbids. Calgary Roller Derby at 170 points. Let's see what this review is about and what the result it's of it is. Please do remain in your seats back from the track until the review is concluded. This is why you will see on the board when it is the unofficial final. It is because in times like this, I mean in every game, but especially in times like this, you need to make sure that all your T's are crossed, your d I's are dotted, because this is about as close as it gets. However, both teams played amazing roller derby after a long weekend of multiple games. Both teams should be very proud about how they showed up to play this last game of Jello Bowl 2024. I know that I would walk away from this game with a smile on my face as I go to plunge my body into a bath full of ice. Yes, I, I have a feeling there will be ice baths all around tonight. Officials taking their time talking about this one, want to make sure they get it right, especially a, uh, you know, a review at the end of a very back and forth, very close game. Both teams should be absolutely proud of the effort that they put in here. What a way to end Jello Bowl 2024 with a nail biter of a game, like you said earlier. Of course, every team. Everybody wants to see the, the W in their column for their team, but sports don't work that way. And you know, any game played at this level is a win in my heart. Oh. I'm a softy. Always have been. Except when you were playing roller derby, you were kind of mean then. I was a softy meanie. That was terrible. A softy Any meanie? How's that? I don't Who's know. that? I'm running out of you're, material. You're run, running out of material, huh? All right. Looks like uh, our tournament head ref, Spike, is going to wander over and tell me what's going on. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Review denied, Happy Valley was asking for a forearm penalty uh, on that hit against Valkyrie Vixen down here in the 3-4 Apex. Review was declined. The scorekeeping team has deemed the score final. 168 points for Molly Morbids, 170 points for Calgary Roller Derby. Congratulations to Calgary. You know, and congratulations to all of the volunteers and support staff, officials, NSOs, track maintenance, all you lovely derby people out there that made this tournament the success that it has been. Yeah, this has been an absolutely fantastic weekend. Congratulations to Calgary Roller Derby and the Molly Morbids. Congratulations to all the teams that came and played. Thank you very much to Minnesota, Arizona, Uinta, Happy Valley and Calgary, thank you again to you, Colonel Skirts, for your help this weekend. Thanks to all of our officials, our volunteers. And now it's time to clean up and go have a beer. <laughs>